what's up guys it's Seth Ron Kenner bro tonight bro today we're gonna be reading into how to find inspiration by the odd ones out bro I feel like everybody need to watch this video because we all trying to find inspiration somewhere bro whether they're doing YouTube TikTok so we all need inspiration but y'all about to go ahead and get into it did you know that 99% of everything I've ever said on this channel has been written out ahead of time, including the mispronunciation of the word percent? It would be 100% scripted, but you know, the drawing challenge videos, you can't really script that kind of content, so... Or can you? But every other video has had a script, and that includes the worst video I've ever made, my very first one. So you know those books you make in a <sighs> I'm gonna stop it right there because I physically cannot to sound 14 watch damn. another nanosecond of my first video. I wanna take it down Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even watch my own videos, bro. If I do something, I don't even watch it. Even when I do TikTok, I still don't even watch it, bro. So bad, but I'm keeping it up so you can see how much I've improved. Because like it or not, the very first thing you make of something is going to be bad. But you have to make the bad thing first so you know how to make things good. The point is, even that sad excuse of a video was scripted. And today, I want to talk about what goes on in the script writing process and how I get inspiration and some tips for writing better scripts. Because if I write something I'm not 100% happy with, then I'm stuck working on a crappy video for the next Excuse. month. Like this one. <laughs> People often tell me, oh, I want to make YouTube videos, but... Oh, my life's super boring. <laughs> I wish I could have an exciting life like yours. <laughs> and I always respond with, my most popular series is about me talking about working at a minimum wage small local sandwich shop. A script does not need to be an edge of your seat, high stakes level story. It needs to be an entertaining story. And I believe if told in a certain way, I guess I could tell a story about me working at IGA. Any story can be an entertaining story. The first piece of advice that I can give that will immediately improve your scripts is, drum roll please, in five, four, three, getting to the point. Because I do animation, the longer the script I make, the longer the video will be, and the longer my team and I will have to spend working on the video and the more depressed I'll get. So I've subconsciously gotten into the habit of writing shorter scripts that get to the point and cut out unnecessary and unfunny details. I feel like the American school system has brainwashed kids into thinking that the best way to express ideas is through the form of a five paragraph essay. Now, have you ever read- Bro, there is one thing I cannot do in school was write a damn essay, bro. I cannot do it and I still can't do it. Cause like, you really just be saying stuff you already said this in a different way. Read a five paragraph essay that you wrote? They're boring as shit. And most schools require essays to have a minimum word count. So we are now training the next generation into purposely writing long-winded and wordy thoughts that could have been shortened down to a sentence. You've all written essays. You know all about repeating ideas you've already written or saying the same thing over and over or reiterating thoughts more than once or echoing points in overabundant amount of times or looking up words on thesaurus.com to hit that 500 minimum word count before. Well, you may not be ready to hear this, but you will not need to write five paragraph essays in your daily life. Shakespeare knew about this when in the 1300s he wrote, brevity is the soul of wit. Which is ironic, because he really liked to use a lot of unnecessary words. <laughs> I once clicked on a video that was titled something like, top 10 scary things that have happened when hiking or something. And I thought, yeah, that sounds like a good video to watch at 3 in the morning. And I swear, the video started out like, Whether it's to have a healthier lifestyle or to see the great outdoors, hiking is a wonderful activity enjoyed by millions of people across the globe of America. But sometimes, this wonderful activity enjoyed by billions can sometimes turn Deadly? Why are you defining what a hike is? <laughs> we all know. Just show me the blurry photos of Bigfoot already until I'm too scared to fall asleep. So how do I come up with these video ideas? Well, I start by thinking, what can I rant about for hours? Something that makes me go, don't get me started on blank. And then I do get started. Like an old person. Started and I write those thoughts on a Google Doc. 
And sometimes my thoughts are jumbled and incoherent like I've been up all night watching Bigfoot videos, but I don't care. I just need to get these thoughts out of my head and splattered onto a piece of paper. And sometimes just starting to write will make me think of new ideas and I go, and another thing, and I repeat that process until the script's done. And then when I'm done writing the script, it's actually not even close to being done. Once I've finished writing, I send the script off to some of my friends and the Amazing, and they look over it with the freshest of eyes, and they'll give me notes saying, hey, you misspelled percent here, or hey, I have a joke you can add, or hey, wait, James, I thought I was your friend. And then I'll choose which of their jokes is the funniest and that I'm going to steal. Here's a fun little YouTuber behind the scenes fact. Since 2018, there's a circle of friends I have where we all trade and read each other's scripts and make suggestions and pitch jokes, and once I'm done reading someone else's script, I get to watch their finished video a month or two or eight months later and see if the jokes I pitched made the cut. And then I get to smile to myself because no one knows that I was the one who wrote that joke because none of us credit each other because none of us care. <laughs> Literally the last 30 seconds of my Suaway Part 4 video was written by this kid named Infamous Swoosh. I wrote in my script, conclusion goes here. And he just wrote one for me and I went, yeah, I'll use that and not credit you. But it's okay because we all don't credit each other equally, so it's a win-win. Everyone in the friend circle gets to look funnier than they actually are. Some days I'll stumble onto a topic that I just know I'm going to make a video about, and then the scripts are a breeze to write. But then there are some days where I'm content with the world and I got nothing that gets me started. But I can't just not make a script that month, otherwise what would I make a video about? Random thoughts? Cool. I still gotta put bread on the table, and also my team would be out of a job. So on those days, you're basically forcing yourself to be creative on demand, Super sad. which is not the easiest thing to do. But fortunately, I have a few tricks to get the creative juices flowing. It's called drugs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's called Adderall. Mysterious. Okay, but for real, I do have this really complicated technique to get ideas, so write these steps down, okay? What I do is I get a pen and a notebook, Put on some lo-fi and just write. About I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer, and install Honey. Wait, mom, before you check out... Nothing specific, just whatever my brain thinks is important. I am writing right now with my left hand. Most people are right-handed, but I am special and am left. I was left-handed. Handed. I'm glad my teachers didn't force me to be right-handed. They were more concerned about my messy handwriting and horrible spelling. <gasps> Usually the ideas don't come that quickly, but you get what I'm talking about. So many times at conventions, I'll be on a panel and people will ask for advice about starting a YouTube channel, and everyone on the panel will say, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you just gotta do it. You know, hit the upload button a couple of times. And I feel kind of bad for people who traveled far and wide to a convention and paid for a hotel and waited in line just to hear a bunch of YouTubers say, you just gotta do it. <laughs> it sounds cliche, but it's true. We either say that or be more entertaining and that's rude, so. Recently, I went on tour performing a live show called Scribble Showdown. I'll talk more about it in the next video, don't worry. And before every show, we had a Q&A panel, and the most frequent question we got asked was, can you read my screenplay, and how do you get motivation? And the answer to that question is, no, and you don't. You get discipline. <laughs> discipline comes before motivation. If you have a project you want to start or a skill you want to learn, you can't wait around for motivation to hit. Sometimes it doesn't come. Instead, you have to set a schedule where you say, okay, on this day, from this time to this time, I'm going to put in the effort to achieve my goal. And if you don't know where to start, a good first step would be to just get your goals into writing. Get your thoughts out onto something physical. So grab a pen and a piece of paper and just ask your friends to read your screenplay because I'm too busy. So busy that I didn't even have time to record an end card. So you know, yeah, he is telling the truth. Cause a lot of time motivation do not hit. And it's all about discipline. I'm the worst one to be telling y'all about discipline. Cause how many times I leave and come back? <laughs> but y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment, download, y'all wanna see, and we at the big boy. <laughs>